Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Cars and More. Today I am going to review the Vauxhall Insignia GSI. Let's go. So, the engine specs are as follows. It has a 2.0 liter petrol engine that makes 227 bhp. It has a 0 to 62 time of 7 seconds and it is mated to a 9-speed automatic gearbox. The power is delivered to a 4-wheel drive system that you can choose to turn on or off. Now there are some good points and some bad points about this engine. The good point is that it is now a petrol and not a diesel engine. The bad point is that it has 33 bhp less than the diesel and is a tenth of a second slower than the old car whilst torque is 50 newton meters down too. Overall, they're not a bad engine but could be better. The price for all this starts at £40,455. So, the front of the Insignia GSI is very sporty and aggressive. The design is modern but not the modern design language that you will find on the Mocha and the new Crossland and upcoming Astra. The design is very similar to the old Insignia GSI but also different. Let me explain. So, the headlights have a different design. As you can see the LED daytime running lights have moved down to the bottom of the headlight unit and the matrix headlights have been replaced with pixel technology. The grille has also changed and is now slimmer and the lower grille has a different design. The side vents are sporty and aggressive which I like. Some people may be thinking that this car looks similar to another car. Those people will be right because the design is very similar to the new Corsa. Along the side nothing much has changed so you get some sporty wheels and some red brake calipers. At the back again nothing has changed much. The bumper is the same as the old one so there is nothing to talk about. So, on the inside there are no changes but there are some changes that were introduced part way through the pre-facelift life. So, let's go through them. So, we have a new infotainment system and a new speedometer that is okay to use and is functional, but it could be better. We also get some new trim panels. Apart from that everything else is the same. So, space in the back is excellent. There is enough legroom and just enough headroom, but it is limited because it is a saloon-style car. You get some air vents and some USB ports and a nice armrest. The Insignia GSI boot size with the seats up is 530 liters and with the seats down it is 1470 liters. So, in summary then the Vauxhall Insignia GSI is a very quick car and is very sporty and aggressive looking. If it had a bit more power, it would be an excellent car to drive and live with. I love the four-wheel drive system though. If you liked this video, then please do not forget to comment like and subscribe. Thank you.